Boruto episode 54, Sasuke and Boruto. So this episode, I would say, is technically uh, the second episode officially going in line with the Boruto movie. And oh, I forgot I had that plugged in. Um, decent episode. It went through the movie elements. Uh, they did technically add like one thing during the scene with Mitsuki. Uh, when he's talking to Orochimaru in the movie, they don't show that it's Orochimaru because I think they kind of leave that there. It's like the teaser, like, who is your dad? Um, or, you know, who are your parents in general? So that was new. Uh, everything else, I think, was the same. Maybe the fight was different because the fight looks sweet. I love the fight. Um, I don't remember the the enemy that fought Sasuke, the, you know, the big guy. I don't remember him changing weapons. I think that was the new thing. And I also don't remember his weapons being like full-on like lightsaber glowing weapons so i don't remember that i could be wrong because it's been a minute since i watched the movie i thought he only had like the big axe i don't remember like the two glaive weapons so that kind of caught me off guard but i thought they looked sweet i was like oh that's cool because they you know they really stick out and that's why i don't really remember that uh too much from watching the movie um him having like really bright weapons in like this sort of nighttime snowy area so i was like that, I don't remember that happening in the movie where it was those the weapons could change and he was forming new weapons. But definitely loved it. I thought the action looked good. Uh, basically, you know, once again, just like the... We're probably going to have this for a while. But you could tell certain scenes, it was like, all right, they basically just took that straight from the movie and it looked good. Uh, the scene where they're basically like... Uh, doing like a 360 going around Sasuke and the villain so like that's definitely cool and you know they had some good animation there for sure it just looked really sweet so I was like this is what I wanted to see um uh, it looked as good as I thought it did they had like you know like I said I think the weapon thing was new I don't remember them doing the part you know well it's like a second long but the part where he actually chips off a piece of the horn I don't remember that being in the movie either I thought that was always the design and I feel like they added that tiny little piece in um could be wrong really don't remember but either way it was a good looking fight, so I definitely enjoyed that. Uh, the one thing that uh, caught my attention was when Sasuke was talking to the skinnier character and his hair was waving. It was like they always do this in anime. Like, obviously, it's the same repeating motion, but it looked so obvious. It legitimately looked like it was waving and then it looked like it was rewinding and then starting over. And I was like, normally, it's, I've never noticed that before. Like, he can tell it's the same way, but it looks like a constant motion. And it was because it was going back and forth. I guess it was because it was left to right and you could clearly see that it was going across his face. Something about it stuck out where it was waving and then it seemed like it would just stop and then go in reverse. And I was like, that's weird. I've never, all the anime I've watched, all the times I've been like, oh, the hair, you know, the same repeating wave motion. That was like the first time it stuck out where I was like, it legitimately looks like it played forward and then reversed as he was talking. It was so weird, but definitely liked the scene. Uh, good action sequence. And then after that, it was pretty much just the Boruto, you know, little training montage. It was like, oh man, I want to be trained by Sasuke because he's like, the rival of my dad and i want to basically do everything i can to surpass my dad and so we go into the uh rasengan training and stuff like that and i was glad that they kind of sped past it i feel like it was a bit faster uh than it was in the movie I, once again with time i really can't remember the movie was like an hour and a half so it may have been about the same amount of time as, as far as what they did minus some of the you know some of the minor things like them having the fight that was in the very beginning of the movie which i think i mentioned in my last review but you know, they kind of shot through it. He's learning uh, the Rasengan, and it starts off pretty simple. He gets it from baking the cake, and then he makes, like, the really tiny, itty-bitty little Rasengan. And they show it when he throws it. Sasuke sees that he, like, hit the tree, and it, you know, it, it was still there. And so they haven't gone into the explanation of that, but they'll get into why that actually happened. There's a reason for it. And it was like, okay. So they went through that. The training is super quick. He turns to Konohamaru. It's like, all right. So he, he learned that pretty fast, and then it's like, all right. I need to get better because he assumed Sasuke was going to say no because he was like, That's, I wouldn't call that much of a Rasengan. And so he was like, fine. And he was mad and he, he stormed off like an angry kid. So then he goes to uh, the scientist, which they've been talking about a million times. So it's really weird when they do some of this stuff. It was kind of like Boruto before. It was like something about it seemed a little off where it seemed like he was suddenly going backwards for like just a split second. And that's because they're throwing in the scenes from the movie. So when Boruto is mad and he goes to the scientist we already know everything <laughs> with the scientific ninja tool we know that he's been making it we knew like that's what the byakuya gang stole so we've known what it is and we we've, we've known the scientist for such a long time now compared to the movie and the manga where it was like oh you know they literally use the scenes from the movie because he like says this like oh i have something for you and it's like the same dialogue too because i was like why'd they put this in here like this they should have changed the dialogue because like i have the perfect thing for you it's cool and it's smart and i'm like we know what the thing is because that's why he went to him like it's different than in the movie where he just goes and was like he knew 
I'll go to him for the ninja tool. So it was like they should have changed the dialogue there. And then, of course, they have it where he does like this sneaky grin where he's like evil and stuff. And I'm like, well, did we've seen his character throughout. So it's kind of like we know he's not really that evil. And there's not much that can really happen, I guess. Like it, they kind of make it clear that he's not really that bad of a character a little bit. So I'm curious to see how they play it. If they sort of make more of a reason for us to believe that he's even a bad guy because at this point it's just like well clearly he's been the cool dude like we know what the weapon is like it's a scientific weapon like yeah it's sneaky for boruto to use it but it's like what could he possibly gain from it as far as like you know from a villain standpoint so i'm curious how they decide to play around with that or they'll do exactly what they did and just keep it exactly the same for the movie and then it's just like kind of weird that suddenly you know he's evil like they should have done that to begin with and i probably you know, wouldn't talk about it as much but it's like you know, it's just so different. And then it's like, once he hits the movie, it's like, okay, now he's got to be this sort of evil character. So maybe he's bad, maybe he's not. It's like, well, could have teased it where it seemed like he was at least a bad guy or something. And now it just seems a little weird, just like with the Boruto, where suddenly he switched, you know, like that last episode. But it's like, okay, they got like the evil grin going. It's like, oh, why is he got the evil grin and stuff like that? And, you know, with the dialogue, it's like he's introducing Boruto to the, uh, the ninja tool. So, of course, he gives it to Boruto, and Boruto's like, oh, check it out. I can do the Rasengan. He can't. Sasuke knew that before he even saw the actual device. And then he's like, fine, I'll take you on as my student. And Boruto cheers. He sees the thing. It's like, and there it is. So, that was pretty much it. That was, like, the end of the episode. I know something else happened after that. I don't remember, but it didn't. None of it really matters. The next episode, though, that should be fun. The next episode, based on the promo, at least, it seems like they're kind of cutting through some of a little bit of the dialogue because they definitely did like they cut through some of the training stuff for sure um because there were quite a few sequences like in the movie and then the manga as well where we knew like Sadara was watching him train like that lasts for a little bit longer probably like an extra minute or two uh maybe not even that much longer probably a minute and so like you know that Sadara is watching him and stuff like that and they kind of have to show her doing that because of the scene where she talks to her dad but they kind of cut through that it was just like boom day night day night and then he got it and then he, he got like that tiny little Rasengan so it was like boom here's how they're watching him but she was watching him for um quite a while because like when they're sitting across from each other it seems really weird now because it's like they've been sitting together forever ever since they've become the three-man teams but of course that's a scene from the movie so like the boys are all sitting on one side and the girls are sitting somewhere else and sometimes they do actually have that happen in episodes but it was just one of those moments where it just felt a little weird for some reason i don't know why because they do tend to sit together but for some reason, it just seemed a little weird because I'm like, I guess because I knew it was straight from the movie, it just felt a little bit forced. Or I was like, yeah, it just seems more obvious that they're not sitting together because it's almost as if they aren't even a three man team at this point. It's more like Boruto and Mitsuki hang out, and Sada is like, oh, let's see what he does and stuff like that. Because in the movie, that's kind of how it was. Like, technically, they were a three man squad, but that was kind of how it was. It didn't really feel like one in the movie until, like, they didn't really feel like one at all in the movie because it was like, at the time, it was just like, whatever, they're a three-man squad, but this is it. This is the end of it. And now that we have the series, like, they've built that up a lot more. So it feels weird when they're, you know, so separated. Like, they barely even talk in this whole episode, even though Boruto is training, you know, with Sada's dad. So it makes more sense when it was, like, the very beginning, you know, of it. And it's like, we didn't have, like, all the backstory. And even then, it's kind of like, oh, they would probably talk more. But it was like, oh, they just argued a bunch. But we've seen them get through a lot of crazy situations officially now, you know, through the anime. So... It makes it a lot weirder when they don't talk about the situations and, you know, little stuff like that. So, you know, it just sticks out more that it's, you know, they're still picking those scenes from the movie and keeping them exactly the same because it's like, well, that makes it a little easier. So it makes it a little bit weird. But ultimately, I already know what's going to happen anyway, so I don't really care that much. I'm just curious to see how, you know, what little elements they change. I'm super excited for the third character to come in. That's what I'm really waiting for because so far everything's been exactly the same and i think it's going to stay the same for a while until the third character gets to earth because he goes to uh the dude from the last i can't think of his name but he went and froze him on the moon or whatever and now i guess he's traveling to earth or whatever the deal is there but so far everything has been exactly the same and i'm curious when they'll switch that because they're like a there's like one giant fight during the tuning exams with the two big villains and they kind of teased it at the end where they show that the third character fights Dali and Gara. So I'm curious how that's going to play out because the fight in the movie is insane. So I don't know how they're going to escalate to that, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. And 
I mentioned before, I'm already excited to just get more out of the tuning exams, see more of the actual fights, because at the time they didn't have all the characters developed and everything. It was just like, this is this person's kid and that's that person's kid. Here's a little, you know, they got a couple of lines in the movie, but we never really see anybody fight except for, you know, our current Team 7. So I'm hoping we get a lot more of that. They're introducing, you know, or I guess kind of reintroducing everybody, the older versions, everybody is the Kage. So we saw Killer B in the promo, Gar was in the promo, uh, Killer Beast fight versus the two people. And I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure that all of that's from the movie. They might add in that third person. I kind of doubt it. They'll probably, you'll be sticking to the same story. But that's kind of a, if I remember right, that's a bit of a smaller fight. So maybe they'll make it a little bit longer just for it to, you know, have some extra oomph. But I'm excited to see the Kage, like, actually come to the village and then just shoot through these trials, get through, like, the early stages. Maybe see some of the other teams do it outside of just our three main characters. Excuse me. Um, this is super random, but Tamari should be showing up, or not Tamari, um, Ten Ten should be showing up in like the next couple of episodes when they do the tuning exam, because we have not seen her once, but she's in the tune, she's in the movie as one of like the proctors, so she should show up during like literally one sequence watching some television screens, so that'll be kind of funny, it's like, oh, there she is, because we don't see anybody, uh, as far as the parents go, we've seen a couple, but I think a lot of them uh, show up in the movie to be like, hey, this is this person and stuff like that. So we'll start to see a lot of the parents start to like filter in a little bit so they can be like, this is specifically this person's uh, mother if we didn't know that was their mom or this is their dad if we didn't know that was their dad. So they start to filter in um, during the tuning exams because that's how they explained it in the movie to just be like, boom, here are these characters and this is what they look like. So they'll start to filter in if you had any questions still about who is who. You'll start to see some more uh more of the kids interacting with their parents because it was like here's everybody you know in the boruto movie so that'll finally start to show up because obviously the parents aren't that big of a deal it's for the kids um but i'm looking forward to that definitely looking forward to more action during the tuning exams and then just seeing eventually when we ever get to that split with the third character coming in that's when things should get really good because it'll be like it'll be some familiar content with the movie stuff but then it'll also be new content as well. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But, you know, decent episode, normal episode, followed the movie, uh, just threw it off a little bit. Like, oh, the scientist is suddenly evil now and little weird stuff like that where it's just like almost throwing it out of order. But looking forward to the next one, bringing in the um, the older characters and hopefully they start the tuning exams. They'll probably talk a bunch, this is Boruto slash Naruto. So they'll probably talk a bunch. And then in two weeks, we'll finally get the first trial um, of the tuning exam so i'm hoping it's next week but my guess is it probably won't be until the episode after next when we actually get them in the fighting in their very first trial and seeing the other people come in and all that stuff we might get the very very first task um which is kind of like the original one in naruto where it's question based so it's more of the test rather than the fight so we might actually see that part but other than that i don't think we'll actually get like any of the fighting in but yeah, looking forward to more of the action elements that are ripped straight from the movie. Looking forward to the new content coming in whenever that gets thrown in there. But definitely want to know what you guys thought about this episode. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, least favorite parts. Um, it's one of those weird things. I just want to know what you guys are thinking uh, right now. As far as Boruto using the scientific uh, ninja tool, we'll love to know how you guys think that'll play out if you don't know the process for it in the movie. Um, we'll love to know your predictions on that and just what you think about that in general as kind of a device for his character as he's trying to, you know, surpass his dad. And he's kind of, you know, with him doing the movie arc, he's kind of like bum rushing it now where before it was like he was naturally growing. And now that they're using the movie scenes, it's like, I got to be my dad. I got to get past him. I got to be way better. So they're kind of kicking it up because it was in a movie an hour and a half. So I'll let you know how you guys are feeling about that. If it's throwing you off a little bit, if it feels like the natural progression, they do throw it in there like, Sadra says, like, normally he's not really like this. So I was like, they're, they're at least throwing in those little lines to a somewhat acknowledge that it's a little odd for the characters because they're just ripping them straight from the movies now rather than at least just changing it, you know, changing it outright or at least changing some scenes, I feel like, would have been all the difference in the world. Like, with the Doctor, where it seems like he's doing exactly what he did in the movie, which is introducing it for the very first time. Instead, all that dialogue should have been different. Like... I'm glad you came to me. I know this is tough, but, you know, I told you about the ninja tool, the scroll that you guys saved for me, the device I was working on, which I literally already told you exactly what it did before. And like, I think it was like four or five episodes ago when they were sitting on the couch, he told him exactly what the ninja tool did. And then, you know, it's done. I was like, that dialogue should have been totally different. But a little stuff like that, I wish they changed. But like I said, I want to know what you guys are thinking for the future 
um, as far as us being in this arc and stuff like that. And of course, what you thought about this episode in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.